Don't lie to me, you absolutely wasted time at work or school playing this game. I know you did. Anyone who used a Windows computer between 1992 and 2005 is almost certainly aware of such an iconic part of the operating system. In case the free version wasn't enough for you, in 1991 you could opt to pay for a version that you could play on a machine that your teacher or boss would have confiscated if they found you playing on their time. Hey, not everyone had a PC in their homes in 1991. Maybe some people just really liked Minesweeper back then. For the inexplicably unaware, the aim of the game is to click on all the squares in a grid that do not have mines on them. Successfully do so, and you'll uncover a number from 1 to 8, indicating how many mines there are in adjacent or diagonally adjacent squares. A number at the top of the screen tells you how many mines there are, and if you know for sure that a square has a mine on it, you can mark it with a flag. You'll be able to figure it out in several ways. If you have, say, a number 1 that is only touching one unturned square, you'll know there is a mine there. If there are two unknowns next to a number 2, likewise you know they're both mines. If you have some unturned squares next to a number 3 that already has three identified mines touching it, you know for sure that these are not mines and can be safely overturned. Basically, you have to overturn everything that is not a mine. Touch one square with a mine and it's game over. Large swathes of the board can be overturned if you click on a square that's not touching any mines. All connecting tiles that have zero mines will be revealed. For a flex, you can choose not to place the flags. You get bonus points for each flag you don't place once every non-mine tile has been uncovered. This is one of the easiest reviews I will write in this book. It gets a solid 3 stars, because it's as damn near perfect a representation of Minesweeper that you could ask for. It gets only 3 stars, because it's Minesweeper. This is about 50% game, 50% procrastination tool. Thanks so much for watching this video. The Kickstarter for the book is now live. Check the link in the description for how you can back the project and be the first to get your hands on the Portable Power Encyclopedia, featuring more than 900 Game Boy game reviews and a whole wealth of useful information on the world's favorite handheld console. See you later on.